Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor Theme Builder video series. In the previous video, we designed the single product page template using the Elementor Theme Builder. And this is the single product page template that we designed in the last video. Now in this video, we are going to customize the shop page or product archive template using the Elementor Theme Builder. So this is the default layout of the shop page of this website. Now we are going to customize this default layout and we are going to create a new shop page layout using the Elementor Theme Builder. So let's start with the video. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. I'm already logged into the dashboard of the website. Now let's go to the templates and then go to theme builder. So we are using Elementor theme builder. Now we are on the Elementor theme builder page. Now here you will see the option product archive, click on product archive. So right now we do not have any template for the product archive. So click on add new. Now here you will see the pre-designed product archive templates. If you want, you can use any one of them using your pro account. Now we are going to do it manually. So let's click close, add the title section here. So we are going to add the title for this page here, single column section. Let's add some padding here, top and bottom padding. Let's add the background image. If you want to use, you can also use the background color. Let's add some background color this time. So we are using gradient. Okay, here we are going to add the title. Well, let's change this color to something green. Let's make it dark green. Okay, now here we are going to add the title here. So let's say, Let's use this heading. Uh, let's say all products. Center align it and change the color to white. All right, so this is the title section. Now let's add single column section again. And this section will show all the products. Let's add some padding, the top padding and the bottom padding. Click on the plus sign. Now select this one, archive products. And you can drag and drop it here. Okay, so this is how it will show all the products. Right now we have six products in the shop. Now we can customize this layout. Now let's go to style. And here you will see the column gap is 20, row gap is 14. Row gap is nothing but this one. Now let's center align it. Okay, this is the image. If you want to add border to the image, you can add the border. I'm not going to use any border. Now the color for the title, this is the title color. Let's change it to dark blue. We are going to change the size. This is the price color, change it to black and change the size Let's say we are going to make it bigger now this is the button change the background color for the button let's say dark blue the text color will be white so these are the border settings for the button now this is the box setting let's add some border one pixel Let's add the border, let's say 15, sorry the padding, let's remove the padding and border radius we are going to change it to 15. Okay, now we need to add border radius to the image also. So let's go back to the image products and for the image add the border radius 15.
right so this one looks good now let's go back to the box if you want to add any box shadow you can do it from here you can see the border shadow okay so this one looks good now the pagination if you have more products it will show the pagination at the bottom let's say if you have 20 products so this page will show 10 products and remaining 10 products will be shown on the second page and it you will see the link here to go to the second page that is called as pagination cell flash if there is any cell you can show it here this is the nothing found message right now let's go to the advanced settings let's add some motion effect here let's say fade in up so this is how it will come up so let's use fade in only so these are the advanced settings now let's see how does this look Now this is the option show a result count when I click yes it will show how many products are there all right now let's see what else we can use here now if you want to use other options from the WooCommerce you can select the other options from here all right now let's click on publish click on add condition and this will be for all products archive so select all product archive and click on save and close so this is the default layout of the shop page now let's click on refresh now you will see the new layout that we just designed using the elementor theme builder if you want to add any extra message or slider you can add them here if you want to show some feature products also you can show the feature products at the top let's see we can show some of the products here using category so this is just an example let me add some padding here now I want to show only the products from any category I'll select this products let's see I'm going to add three column and one row so it will show the three products let's say a query I want to show only the latest product it will show the latest product here current query latest product include category okay you can see you can select three products here manual selection so I'm going to select t-shirts here let's update it now let's add some background color here also okay now let's customize this one So you can see that we have added three products at the top so these these can be featured products if you want to show some featured products at the top of the shop page you can use this products option so let's click on refresh and let's see you will see the three feature products at the top and after that you will see all the remaining shop products on this page so there can be many ways to customize the shop page using the elementor theme builder so that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.